All right, today we are talking about the optimal position for your lower back when you deadlift and when you flex. So, a few things first. We're going to go through the flexion part and then we're going to go through the deadlifting part. Now, it's normal for you to flex forward and bend your lower spine when you're picking up something. So if Fran here was going to bend forward and pick up something light, it's okay to bend your lower back. All right, so if she's going to pick up something light, if she's got a healthy lower back, she's got a good core, it's fine to go into flexion. That's a normal function for the lower back. But if she's training, or if she's an athlete, and she's training an extensor load, she's trying to train a deadlift position, and she needs to increase weight, and we're talking like a heavy load weight to improve muscle strength, she needs to keep her lower back in a neutral spine, and I'm gonna tell you why. So, if you go into a deadlift for me, position for me, Fran, so, Let's pretend that this weight is super heavy, okay? Now, Franz, how heavy are you, Fran? Oh, nine. Yeah. 60 kgs. 60 kg. If she was doing a 30 kgs, that's half her body weight, okay? Now, that's going to be heavy for her relatively. Now, if that was 30 kilos, I don't want her going into flexion in the lower back because if she goes into flexion in the lower back, go into flexion for me, with a five kilo weight, that'll be fine. The structures in the lower back, she's healthy, will be able to handle that, and that's okay, and that's normal movement. However, if it is 30 kilos, the shear load through her lower back is going to be probably too great, and she's not going to get the optimal amount of function for her lower back because of the anatomy. So in her lower back, in this position, if you go forward and deadlift and stay there, in her lower back, if she keeps neutral spine, in this part here, in this iliocostalis lumborum part, the muscles that are in here go that way. The muscle fibers are going on that angle. So her spine is in a neutral curve like that, and a neutral curve, and the muscle fibers like that. Now they are reducing the shear force. They're holding on to the shear force. Now, big thick strips of meat here, okay, are going that way in her lower back. So this part of her lower back is designed to hold that load and prevent the shear force that way, okay? Now if she can keep that neutral spine there, those muscles switch on a static position and allows this longissimus thoracis, her glutes and her hammies to do all the lifting, okay? So if she keeps this lower back, if you lift that up for me, in that position there and comes up, her lifters are going to be her glutes, her hammies, and her longissimus here, the thoracic, oh, sorry, the like, longissimus thoracis muscles here. Now when you see on big power lifters, you see these muscles are big, because the muscle bulks up here, but the tendons go down into the deadlift again, the tendons go into the lower back down the sacrum there, crossing over this section here, which is your stability section. So this part is not really doing the lifting. The lifting's here, the lifting's here, and the lifting's there. This is the static part. Now, if you don't have this part in neutral, if you have an inflection, this compromises this area for function. So she just won't be able to lift that as much. There's no way, because this is out of function, it's out of position here, these muscles from going from, go to neutral again, she, from going from that angle, if she flexes, they go to that angle. So those muscles are on a bit of a different angle now. They can't hold the shear very well. Therefore, the function's compromised. She won't be able to lift there and she won't be able to create an extensive torque through the back. So go back into neutral. In that position, she can create that extensive torque there. It's a much more powerful way of lifting. She'll get a lot more load off the floor and it's a lot kinder on the tissues in the lower back. So all the soft tissues that are deep down the lower back that those muscles are holding and protecting, it's a lot kinder on that. So one, you lift safely, but two, it's for optimal power and function. She'll be able to lift way better off the floor when she does that movement if she keeps her lower back in a neutral spine. It's very important that those muscle fibers, you look at your anatomy, keeping those fibers on the right angle when she does a lift like that, and she'll just generate way more power, plus it's a lot better and kinder for her lower back. Okay, so the anatomy part of what we are talking about, maintaining a neutral spine when you go into that deadlift, for getting that extensive torque through here, getting that optimal function through here, protection of the lower back structures, I suggest you go and read up on some of Stuart McGill's work because it goes in depth about the anatomy of all those components in the lower back and how that functions from an anatomy point of view and how it functions from being up in here, the torque that's created through that deadlift. So go check that work out. So that's your deadlift one. Now that's obviously a Romanian deadlift. Now it's always important to think about 
that's what you do when you lift something heavy, okay? Now, you can also relay that to at home. If you're lifting heavy at home, if that's something heavy off the floor, adopt the same position and you'll get better movement off the floor. But if you are just simply picking up something easy, so if that was very light, of course, you're allowed to round your back, that's no problem. If you don't have back pain and you've got a healthy back, you can round your back. But when it comes to training, when it comes to lifting heavy off the floor, some people and some athletes need to keep that neutral spine and that's why. Second part I want to talk about is if you've had an acute disc injury, or you've been diagnosed with you've got acute back pain from a disc injury, <coughs> excuse me, is why we people don't like going into flexion in the acute stage because it's painful. So if Fran had a disc injury, she doesn't like going into flexion at this point here because you can see the same point here. It goes into flexion here, which means those structures are stressed a little bit. Now, if they've been injured, it's going to hurt. So most people who have had disc problems in the acute stages, they don't like bending their lower back. And you'll find they sort of locked up. When they bend forward, they tend to hinge naturally into a bit of a deadlift. And they say, I just can't bend forward. Because those muscles go into spasm and say, I don't want you going forward. Because if she goes forward, they lose that shearing load ability and the load goes through the lower back. And now when that's fine when you've got no weight and you're not injured. We like flexing. But when you're injured in a disc type scenario, the flexing forward part is really painful on the lower back. So what people tend to do is hold that position there. Now we've got to try and educate people that that's okay to not bend in the acute stages and if anything it allows them to function and do things because you've still got to go and pick up things and do the dishwasher and that sort of stuff. But over time we need to get people flexing forward. So it's not okay to go with that again is to lift everything that's light in the world, going to, going to neutral again, in that position for the rest of your life. At some point, we're going to have to get them bending forward and flexing into a natural curve here, okay? But the same rules apply that when they lift heavy over time, a person who has a disc problem still has to go into that neutral spine again, okay, to create that shear forcing ability, to, uh, to stop the shear forcing ability and create the torque so when they lift, they protect that lower back over time, especially if it's been injured before, and they keep the strengthening going, okay? So if you've had a disc problem, okay, it's okay to keep it in a neutral spine acutely. You don't have to worry about flexing forward, but you will have to work with your physiotherapist to eventually over time get the ability to be able to round forward again to pick up light items because that's a normal movement to get that spine flexing and moving. But know that down the track, the rules of trying to lift with a neutral spine to generate power and improve your strength is really important. All right, see you next time.